Corinthian Rishon, 1 Corinthians 7. Now, concerning the things whereof ye wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman, nevertheless to avoid fornication. Let every man have his own woman, and let every woman have her own man. Let the man render unto the woman due benevolence, and likewise also the woman unto the man. The woman has not power of her own body, but the man. And likewise also the man has not power of his own body, but the woman. Defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer, and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. But I speak this by permission, and not of commandment. For I would that all men were even as I myself. But every man has his proper gift of Yahweh, one after this manner, and another after that. I say therefore to the unmarried and widows, it is good for them if they abide even as I am. But if they cannot contain, let them marry, for it is better to marry than to burn. And unto the married I command, yet not I, but Yahweh, let not the woman depart from her man. But, and if she depart, let her remain unmarried, or be reconciled to her man. And let not the man put away his woman, but to the rest speak I, not Yahweh. If any brother has a woman that believes not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. And the woman which has a man that believes not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. For the unbelieving man is sanctified by the woman, and the unbelieving woman is sanctified by the man. Else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or sister, rather, a sister is not in bondage in such cases. But Yahweh has called us to peace. For what know you, Eth, O woman, whether you shall save your man? Or how know you, O man, whether you shall save your woman? But as Yahweh has distributed to every man, as Yahweh has called every one, so let him walk. And so ordain I of all the called out assemblies. Is any man called being circumcised? Let him not become uncircumcised. Is any called in uncircumcision? Let him not be circumcised. Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing, but the keeping of the commandments of Yahweh. Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Are you called being a servant? Care not for it, but if you may be made free... Use it rather. For he that is called of Yahweh, being a servant, is Yahweh's free man. Likewise, also he that is called being free is Mashiach's servant. Ye are bought with a price. Be not ye the servants of men. Brethren, let every man wherein he is called therein abide with Yahweh. Now, Concerning virgins, I have no commandment of Yah. Yet I give my judgment, as one that has obtained mercy of Yahuwah, to be faithful. I suppose, therefore, that this is good for the present distress. I say, that it is good for a man so to be. Are you bound unto a woman? Seek not to be loosed. Are you loosed from a woman? Seek not a woman. But, and if you marry, you have not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she has not sinned. 
Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh. But I spare you. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remains that both they that have women be as though they had none, and they that weep as though they weep wept not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they possessed not, and they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passes away. But I would have you without carefulness. He that is unmarried cares for the things that belong to Yahweh, how he may please Yahweh. But he that is married cares for the things that are of the world, how he may please his woman. There is difference also between a woman and a virgin. The unmarried woman cares for the things of Yahweh, that she may be holy both in body and in ruach. But she that is married cares for the things of the world, how she may please her man. And this I speak for your own profit, not that I may cast a snare upon you, but for that which is comely, and that ye may attend upon Yahweh without distraction. But if any man think that he behaves himself uncomely toward his virgin, if she pass the flower of her age, and need so require, let him do what he will. He sins not. Let them marry. Nevertheless, he that stands steadfast in his heart, having no necessity, but has power over his own will, and has so decreed in his heart, eth, that he will guard his virgin, does well. So then, he that gives her in marriage does well, but he that gives her not in marriage does better. The woman is bound by mitzvah as long as her man lives. But if her man be dead, she's at liberty to be married to whom she will, only in Yahweh. But she is happier if she so abide after my judgment. And I think also that I have the Ruach Yahweh.